All right, folks, here is another Tech Sushi exclusive review uh, for you by FX Franz. Uh, this time we have the Transformers Prime First Edition Terracon Cliff Jumper. Um, the figure is part of, I believe, the third wave of the First Edition Deluxe Class figures. I'm not sure. Third wave, I think. Or second wave. Third wave, I think. Anyway, whatever. But, uh, uh, this, uh, this is, I think, an Asia-exclusive, uh, subline for the Transformers Prime. And if you're in North America, I think this one is, uh, a Toys R Us exclusive. Alright, so, let's go and have a quick look at the packaging. Fantastic artwork. It does very similar artwork. Um, to the one in the Takara version, which has the purple uh, colors, obviously, instead of the red or orange. And here's the rest of the assortment. The Vicon, Vicon as well as the as Bumblebee, uh, which is part of the first wave. Um, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, I think it is third wave, because second wave is just Cliff Jumper, and first wave is RC, Starscream, and Bumblebee. All right, so on to the figure itself. It is, again, the same mold that they used, uh, except for the head sculpt, the same first edition cliff jumper head mold. Uh, sorry, first edition cliff jumper body mold. The, uh, the paint apps are obviously different. Come on, what is wrong? Okay. Uh, the red, I think, is the same. Um, I, I apologize. I did not bring uh, the first edition Cliff Jumper with me right now for some reason. No idea. It is the same. Yep, it is the same. The only difference really is there. Uh, there are some uh, damage, battle damage, or zombie damaged uh, paint apps here. And this, this, these two pieces are really cl uh, clear bits of purple plastic that they've just painted with red. And in this case, there's no paint on those. Uh, on the back, you see more of that damage. Isn't it really, um, you know, it's okay. It's no big deal. I don't have the San Diego Comic Con uh, rest, rust in peace cliff jumper. Uh, so I have no way of comparing it, whether it's the same or not. What I do have is the Takara version of Terracon Cliff Jumper, which, as you can see, is, I think, still the better version between the two. If you get this one, it looks like he's just been filled up, rammed up with Emer Energon, dark Energon everywhere. And uh, the stickers are okay, but um as you can see there's no um weathering or zombie damage or whatever zombie scars whatever on him it's just he's all clear um, but the head sculpt is exactly the same and i still think this is the far superior uh figure between the two however if this is way too ex but you know they're both imports if you're in north america if you're in asia they're still going to be both imports this one is going to be more uh, this is going to be cheaper this one will probably cost twice as much as this one it'll pro if you want something if you want the takara version that costs exactly the same as as the hasbro version you you can go to japan and they sell it for the same price over there in japan because only hasbro products in, are very expensive in japan so that's that uh, it doesn't come with anything, no weapon, no minicon, no nothing, it's just as is. Articulation for this figure is exactly the same as the first edition cliff jumper, and transformation is exactly the same, despite the change in head sculpt. And I really like this new head sculpt, the zombie cliff jumper head sculpt. Show accurate? Perhaps. So, to transform him, um, what you want to do is go ahead and open this one up, close this panels. Um, go ahead and untab the back part. Go ahead and fold this piece down. Open up the, open up that, or you don't have to. We'll do that later. Just open it up like that. Uh, go ahead and fold the, the headlamps. Then you can do do that. Okay. Um, go do the legs first, I suppose, or go ahead and rotate. Yep, rotate the body like that, fold the head down, do the legs, open him up, fold the feet down, foot down, and then 
raise the knee to the side like that, which I always forget uh, <laughs> to do. Do the same on the other side. Do that. We'll do that later. Yeah, okay, we'll do that now. Like that. Like that. Okay. We should have done that later. But we'll keep it like this. Okay. Um, the arms. What do you do with the arms? Okay. Yeah, like that. That open, open this panel like that. Open this, sorry, open this panel like that. Okay. Rotate. The arms are very tight. The shoulder, shoulder ball joints are very tight. But everything else is loose. Um, mold degradation, I suppose, but everything else is loose. Except for the the ball joints on the on the shoulders, so go ahead and tab that in. Like that, okay. Okay, and then fold the arms or oh, the forearms this way. Is that the way? Okay. Oh, just fold them like that. The same on the other side. Like that. Okay, then go ahead and fold these two down and tab in the pieces. that. I hope everybody got that. And then just fold this and tab everything in. Now he still suffers from the same problem as the other first edition figures, uh, even the Takara version, in that the panels don't really snap together. It's not a flush um, transformation for me, at least on my figure. Ugh, why do you keep forgetting? To unfold this, yeah, there you go. And then this, unfold the hand, and yeah, and that's just as good as it gets. There's always going to be some gaps, just like the first edition Cliff Jumper and the Takara version Terracon Cliff Jumper. But you know, what can you do? This is the best I could do. Um, there's, there's going to be some gaps here and there. It's not going to be a complete uh, panel uh, transformation, but what can you do? So there you go. Um, that's it. That's his alt mode. Lighting, please. Okay. Uh, it, it's nice. It looks great. It looks like a zombie car. Um, yeah, the roll is pretty okay. Uh, again, as I said, if you're really into uh, the Transformers Prime show and you love Cliff Jumper, you got to get a Terracon Cliff Jumper. Um, I suggest if you can get the uh, the Takara version, you get that one um, between this one and this and the San Diego Comic Con. I think this one is the better version. It's a lot cheaper. The only difference is really the packaging, and and yeah, it is a good figure. It, it, it's something that's really worth spending on. But don't spend more than for me forty dollars shipped. That's probably the only way. I'm, or thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Sorry, thirty dollars shipped. That's probably my price ceiling for this one, 30 US dollars. And other than that, it's just scalper prices. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, if you want to see more reviews, uh, awesome reviews, uh, do, do subscribe and stay tuned to this channel, Tech Sushi. A lot of great reviews are coming out here. And this has been FX Friends for Tech Sushi, reviewing Transformers Prime Terracon Cliff Jumper. Thanks for watching.